you're leaving um, after overseeing uh, the acquisition of Felcor. And so now that's all one, one portfolio. Tell us a little bit about that deal, what it meant to you, how it changed the company, and how it positions the company going forward. Right, uh, ever since going public in May of 11, RLJ was a vocal advocate for consolidation within the space. It seemed like there were too many uh, REITs that were too similar. And, and didn't quite have the, the scale or the critical mass to be uh, liquid trading instruments for the institutional investors out there that want to trade around large positions. And if you compare the size of hospitality REITs to uh, REITs in the other food groups like retail, office, multifamily, it, there was quite a contrast. And, mm -hmm. and so as advocates of consolidation, we always said that we would either be an aggregator or be part of somebody else's aggregation plan, but it, it just made sense. And we would do whatever was in the best interest of our shareholders. So, uh, in November of 16, uh, Felcor was in a pickle. Uh, uh, they were without a CEO, they had activist investors, and we were approached to see if we'd be interested. And in fact, we had looked at the Felcor portfolio over the years, uh, more than once, and outside of six or seven assets, which were clearly not compliant with our strategy, we saw a portfolio that was a natural fit for what we do, in that we had been pioneers in the upscale select service space, but also in the lean, compact, rooms-driven, full-service space under the major brand families in urban or dense commercial environments, and we saw in the Felcor portfolio just that kind of asset. Granted, there were a few resorts, a couple of luxury products, where they had made a pivot a few years earlier and in our estimation had lost their way a bit. We knew that we could sell those assets accretively, both to where we were trading and to what we were paying for the portfolio and be left with a very strong, natural fit extension of our portfolio and uh, we saw levers of value creation for that real estate and uh, we were happy to be able to take advantage of a little bit of a dislocation in their share price to pick it up at a good value.